All right, guys, I've got some things for you that I should not have to say, but I'm going to say we'll get right to that after this. Warning, applying these principles may change your life. People will look at you differently. You'll walk straighter, live bolder, and find out who you are. This is the Manlyhood Mancast. Here's your host, Josh Atcher. got some things, guys, that I shouldn't have to say. Things that I'm honestly tired of saying. But I'm going to say them. And I'll keep saying them. The first one is this. Get your crap together. I say this a lot. Deal with your crap. I have lost too many friends who have put a gun in their mouth and blown up their heads or who have overdosed or who have done whatever to end their life because they had enough. Drank themselves into oblivion, drank themselves into oblivion, got into a drunk driving accident, went to jail because they made some really bad decisions like molesting a child. Yeah, I had a friend who did that. I've had a couple friends who did that. People I thought were good men, but weren't. Get your crap together. All of those things start in here. They start in here. And if you've got crap and you need to see a counselor, you need to work through it, you need to deal with it, Deal with it. Don't let it get that bad. Because you matter and there are people counting on you. There are people looking up to you. And I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing stories like this. I am. I really am. Josh, that's not helpful. You're making me feel bad. You're making me feel ashamed of having problems. I'm not trying to make you feel ashamed of having problems. I have problems. Guess what? I have crap that I'm dealing with. I do. I have crap that could easily turn me into those kinds of people, that could easily lead me down those paths, that could easily make me do those things that those people have done. If I were to go down that path, path and entertain the crap or let the crap eat me alive and turn me into that. But I'm not gonna, and you're not gonna anymore deal with your crap. Here's the next thing that I shouldn't have to say. Stop touching women. I mean, obviously, if you're married and you have a relationship with your wife, you can touch your wife, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I have seen too many people walk up and grab a woman inappropriately that they're, they have no relationship with. You don't walk up and just grab a woman just because she's dressed a certain way. If you are doing these things because you were drunk or high, stop drinking and doing drugs. If you're doing these things because you just have no self-control... Get some self-control if you're doing these things because you're feeding your mind full of porn and other garbage or you're at a strip club and you've paid money so somehow you think you deserve it. Get out of that environment. If you're married and you think you have a right to hit your wife or demand that she perform for you or do whatever, knock it off. Knock it off. You do not have a right to lay a hand on someone. It doesn't work that way. Stop. No touchy. Which brings me to the next thing, which is no means no. I know there's a lot of controversy about the statistics when it comes to rape, and I know that men are often painted pretty poorly in this situation, and I know that false accusations exist. I understand all of that. I understand all of that. But if a woman says no, it means no. If a woman 
is scared to say no, and you can tell, it also means no. Here's an even better thought. Are you ready? Just save it for marriage. Oh, you're such a prude. You don't eat. No, I don't care. I'm just telling you. Just wait. Just save it. Because it's great and it's awesome. You don't have to chase tail. You would be surprised at how powerful you can become if you can channel all of that tail chasing energy into making your life better instead. But when a woman says no, it means no. And I should never have to say that again. And here's the next thing. Are you ready? This applies to everybody. This applies to everybody. It's not about you. I can't tell you how often and how many times I have seen people get distracted by selfishness. Even me, even myself, I will get distracted by selfishness and arrogance. It's not about you. You need to look at the world through that filter. You need to stop and understand that the people around you are important, that they matter. Stop making everything about you in your conversations, in your behaviors. I hear all the time people who will jostle for position. They will make things to benefit themselves at the, at the cost of someone else. I see it all the time when I'm driving and someone can't handle the fact that the roads are icy, so I'm going 30 instead of 35. So they'll pass me going 50. I'm going 30 because when I went 35, my car was sliding. So let's go 30. It's not about you. Slow down. Think. Be patient. Be aware of what's happening all around you. Care. I have a lot more that I could add to my list of things I shouldn't say, but these are the things I think that I think a lot and that I say a lot and I shouldn't have to say them. So again, get your crap together. Stop touching women. No means no, and it's not about you. Love you guys. I care about you. Talk to you soon. Hey, man. I see you. I see your fire going out. I see your marriage barely holding on. I know you're broke, wore out, and at the end of your rope. I've been there. It sucks. It sucks the spark right out of you. Till all you have is a pile of wet wood. It feels like it's never going to burn. I can't fix your problems. I can't make her love you again. I can't lose 50 pounds for you or fill your bank account. But I can remind you of who you are. I can share some of my fire. I can help you make a plan to get your life back on track. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's reignite our lives. There's a lot at stake. No one wants their marriage to end in divorce. No one wants to wallow in despair or to the dark places that follow. So let's do it. Let's reignite our lives. Let's reignite our passion, our marriage, our health, our career, our dreams, our mindsets. Get reignited today. If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com, for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. And you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for manlyhood.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manlyhood Mancast. 